Hey there, it's me, Julie Fafan Balzer, and I'm here with another Exploring Art Products video. So we're going to be talking about the Molotow Masking Fluid Markers, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, but here it is, and I found them in two different sizes, 4 millimeter and 2 millimeter. That's the tip size, so obviously one is skinnier than the other. And you can see it says right on it, it's Gravix Masking Liquid. So my assumption is that this is going to be like frisket in a pen form. And on the back, you can see that it works with um, acrylic and water and alcohol based inks so and that it peels off obviously within 24 hours of application so I thought I would give them a try and see how it works so when you actually open the pens on them they have little pictures that tell you what you're supposed to do and it's just like a paint marker you shake 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 it then you depress the point and then you can actually write with them and then it's all there but if you've ever used a paint marker this is the exact same thing that you have to do so I just have a tag that I did some stamping on and I've shaken that marker and now I'm just pushing the point in. And because the um, masking fluid is blue, you can actually see when it actually finally comes out in there. I've got some little blue dots, so I know it's all good. I'm just wiping them away. And then I'm going to go ahead and write on this tag. Now, you could use any tag. I just had these tags left over from my Carve December, and I thought I'd just give them a try. So I thought I'd do a little bit of writing. It's really easy to apply. If you've ever used masking fluid that comes in like a bottle, like Frisket, uh, uh, which comes in a bottle with like a little brush, it's really hard to apply. And this is, I mean, this is just like using a pen. It's super easy. So that obviously has to dry. Um, so while that's happening, I grabbed just a piece of deli paper that has some um stamping and stenciling and acrylic paint on it and I figured I might as well go after that too with a little bit of masking fluid. So the masking fluid is just going to dry on there and theoretically block anything that comes off and then I should be able to rub it off really easily. So that's at least the theory and what I was assuming was going to happen. So you can see I'm applying the thick and the thin marker to see what happens. And then I'm using the incredible touch method. Is it dry? Is there any on my hands? I'm a little worried so I'm going to hit it up with a heat gun just to make sure. Then I'm putting on just a layer of regular acrylic paint. There's nothing special about this acrylic paint. It's just black acrylic paint, okay? And I'm going to do the same thing to the piece of deli paper that has some um, masking fluid on it, too. It's just black acrylic paint. I'm going to make sure that everything is super-duper dry. And then um, once it's all dry, I'm going to take my finger, and I'm going to start to rub. And as you can see, the masking fluid comes away, which is pretty cool. But then I started having trouble and I just couldn't get it off the rest of the tag. So I gave up on the tag for a while and I went over to try the deli paper. And the deli paper was rubbing away pretty well, especially in those really big areas. But I'm not going to lie, this is a process that hurts your finger a little bit. I mean, I'm saying I'm a total wimp saying that, but it does. And I really can't get that tag to come off at all. So I thought I did acrylic paint. Now, the real reason that a lot of people use frisket, or I shouldn't say the real reason, is often with watercolor painting. That's a common reason. Maybe that's better than the word real. So I thought I'd just throw some watercolors up on top of my dried masking fluid and see how that worked. So I'm just going to cover this tag. And again, I'm just using these tags because that's how I roll and I like to use stuff that's uh, already been covered with stuff so that I'm not using something brand new. And I'm going to do the same rubbing. Now this is where, oh my gosh, this came off super duper easy. I it didn't even have to rub that hard. It was really easy. And it's also, I mean, because the watercolor is transparent, you can see where the masking fluid is. So that makes it even easier for you to go after it with your finger um, and clean it up. So then um, I thought I'd try it again, but this time I thought I'd use acrylic ink, thinking that it's thinner than acrylic paint, but it's definitely acrylic, unlike watercolor. So it's definitely opaque. So I thought I would see what happened. So I just put it on the tag in the area where um, obviously I had drawn with the masking fluid and then rub, 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 boom, 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 it comes right off. So that was also easier than with the thicker acrylic paint. Um, although it did kind of stick in some areas, you can see sort of behind the circles against the tag, it's, it seems like it's some of the... Um, acrylic ink is still sticking on there or the masking fluid's not coming away or I don't know what's happening but it's not totally clean it was a little bit sad so, okay um so there you go there's the jelly paper and there's the watercolor tag which I think turned out probably the best I mean I'd say masking fluid and watercolors is a legendary combination for a reason and this worked excellently with the watercolors so definitely something I would try and again like the 
marker made it super duper easy to control. So if you look at that again, I mean, anything that you can do with a marker, you can do with these and it just makes it really easy. So I think I'm opening the watercolor just because again, I'm thinking the watercolor worked the best with these Molotow um, masking fluid markers. However, I will say this. I am a persistent girl. I don't give up easily. And so looking at that watercolor tag and thinking about it, I thought, you know what? There must be an easier way. So I took that tag that I couldn't go after and I started scraping at it with my fingernail. And you know what? Scraping at it with my fingernail actually started to work and I didn't take off the paint anywhere but where the masking fluid was. So I'm pretty sure if you used like a coin or something sharp, that would be a lot easier than your fingernail. But there you go. There's all my messy writing that I did. It's all been good. So I don't know if it was letting the tag rest a little while longer or using my nail, but I was even able to clean up this other tag using the same use your nail technique. So that's a good thing about, you know, not trusting your absolute first impression and sometimes going the extra step to see what else is possible. Just a little hint from you to me, but I like these Molotow masking markers. I can now see that they'd be lots of fun with lots of different supplies because again, they worked with acrylic paints, they worked with um, watercolor, they worked with the acrylic inks, and you can see like putting them on top of, I think the tag on the far left is distressing, there's acrylic paint in there, there's an archival ink, all sorts of fun stuff. Anyway, I hope that you will stop by and visit me at my website at balzerdesigns.com. Thanks so much and have a great day.